Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Manny Pacheco with Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act 2 here at the TCM Classic Film Festival 2022. And of course, no introduction needed. Recognizable face, Hollywood royalty, Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome uh, to our program and thank you for having us here at the, the Classic Film Festival. Well, thanks for coming and supporting the festival. Uh, Eddie Muller has been talking about you. <laughs> no, no, uh, no surprise. He had a he had a story about uh, Lily Tomlin, and so, uh, so you you spoke to Eddie first. Yeah. Well, then I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, he just happened to be here, so you know how that. Uh, so yeah, so Lily Tomlin. I tried a little thing with Lily Tomlin. It backfired um, impressively. Uh, well, t give us the details. Let's hear your side of the story. Uh, so, uh, uh, Lily Tomlin got her hand and footprint uh, ceremony yesterday. Uh, Jane Fonda introduced her, and it was such a love. It was really, we've had so many nice hand and footprint ceremonies. This was the most moving. Um, I mean, Jane's speech was great, and, and Lily's was great. And then I'm in, you know, afterwards, Lily's sitting in the, the, the TCL Chinese Theater, and, and our, our head of talent is there, and, and, and she goes, Oh, I wish, wish Eddie were here. Can I have a message for him? Uh, and she's like, you know, I just want to say, you know, every Saturday night, you know, Jane and I, we watch uh, the Noir Alley with Eddie, and it's just so wonderful. And then I kind of walk in, and I'm like, but, but tell him, you know, what you were saying earlier, that the only thing that would make it better if it were hosted by me. And Lily just didn't play along. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, she told the, uh, it was really funny, it was good. I mean, I don't know if it was really funny, but it was good, it was amusing, and uh, it put me in my place. But that's part of this, uh, my fake feud with Eddie, who, of course, the truth is... I, I love these are really, yeah, really, close. really close friends. So. Yeah. Now, you had, of course, th that iconic relationship with Robert Osborne. Tell us about your relationship with the rest of the uh, hosts that you finally got together after two years of being a part. Yeah, I mean, I had seen Eddie uh, during the pandemic uh, briefly, but I, I don't, and I, I think I'd seen Dave. But sometimes our paths had crossed, like at, uh, shooting in studios in LA for a bit. I saw Alicia, because I'd seen them, but I, we certainly hadn't been together. And I'd spoken to Jacqueline a lot, even though we were both in L.A. We hadn't seen each other because she's the busiest person in America there as they prepared to, to open the Academy Museum. So it was really nice to have the five of us together. We actually did a, a promo shoot, uh, I think, in February of 2020. Uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, little did we know, that, uh, as the case was with everyone, what we were about to, to enter into. So it was just wonderful to see everybody. I really like them all. I mean, it always sounds... Like it's fake, but uh, you know, I mean, Dave Carter is like the nicest person in America. He also knows everyone in America, everyone. You know, I mean, you know, you're you're, you're like, I'd be like, you know, I bet Clooney'd be great here. And Dave said, Well, you know, I'll ask him if he wants to come. You know, and you're like, Oh, right, of course, you're friends with George Clooney. Who aren't you friends with? You know, you know, you'd be like, Who aren't you friends with Madonna? And then he like, it's like, Well, a little bit. You know. <laughs> I don't know if you've been ever asked this question, but I'm just going to go ahead and ask it. What would your grandfather Herman Mankiewicz think of? Turner classic movies and thinking of his films as classic films. Well, I like to imagine that if my grandfather had lived longer than he did, which would have involved uh, drinking a little bit less, um, that that he would have realized sometime in the 1950s, he died in 1953, that what he did for a living, that the that writing these pictures, which sort of he thought wasn't serious work and, and he was sort of ashamed of that he wasn't writing plays even a theater critic which he had been that was you know uh, you know writing a great novel that these popcorn movies for the masses which is just and it all came from his father his disapproving father uh, that he would have realized that he was mistaken right and that people love these movies and they love them whether they're popcorn movies or whether they're you know whether you would consider them you know a, a, Films, right? Whether whether they were whether they were popcorn movies or serious, thoughtful films, and of course, many of them are both, right? But it would just he would know that this was a serious art form that deserved respect, and therefore, uh, he would have really appreciated TCM. And I am fairly certain that he would have thought I have thought this a lot. And my wife just walked up, she's just standing right over there, and I say this to her that like he would have thought. So let me get this right, grandson. So you're getting paid pretty well to uh, talk, just talk about other people's movies. And then people come up to you and say thanks, and he goes, well, that's impressive. Like, that's, that, that he would have thought was a pretty great scam that I had figured out. Uh, 
So I, I'm certain that he would have uh, appreciated it. Uh, I, I wish he had lived long enough to, to recognize the value of what he did with his career. One last question, your relationship with the fans. It's obvious they know you, they engage with you. Uh, this is something that probably occurred before even social media was popular. TCM is really at the cusp of pioneering the social media experience before social media. Yeah, I mean, we, this is this is a community of, of movie lovers and, and really, of course, a specific kind of movie lover, right? I mean, it's, the, the love of classic films is not like, I mean, it's not like even a, uh, you know, it's not a hobby. It is a definitive aspect of people's lives. It is how they define themselves in many ways. I mean, you'll you'll see. Well, I'm. What do you do? Well, I'm a I'm an architect and a and a, a wife and a mother uh, and a classic film lover. Like that, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't even more so even than sports fans, right? It is this thing that motivates them. It is the thing they identify with. So, finding social media enabled this community to find each other, to come together and to grow. And, and you know, uh, we started talking about the festival really almost as soon as the channel signed on the air before I got there in 1994. TCM moves at a, at a historically glacial pace. So, you know, we uh, you know, signed on in 1994 and it took us till 2010 to start the festival, but that's also because, as you know, we don't rush anything, right? And so that's why everything looks so great on the air. But so uh, social media has obviously grown this community and, and, the, and the, the two years that we had to spend apart I think intensified uh, uh, people's yearning for an event like this and also intensified their feelings of, uh, of connection to these movies, which obviously help people through this. And I, I don't want to overstate it. We're not on the, we weren't on the front lines. We're not, we're not doctors, nurses, respiratory technicians, uh, scientists, right? We weren't, we weren't solving the problems of the pandemic. But it's nice to have a job in television, which is such a silly profession, right? And so many silly TV jobs and so many silly TV shows. To have a job in television that actually does matter to people, uh, as, a, as a, you know, you, you can't help but, but feel fortunate to be in that position. Manny Pacheco with Bed Bankowitz at the TCM Classic Film Festival for Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act Two. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.